the rates of cancer for most cancers are going up such that uh, it's predicted around 2050, there'll be one in three uh, women and one in two men with cancer. More and more and more, right? So the question is why? Well, I would disagree with anyone who says that cancer is random because it's certainly not. We have genetic predispositions. That's why cancer, quote unquote, runs in the family. But that genetic predisposition is about 10% of cancer, right? So if your mom had cancer, you're about 10% likely more to get it than someone who had, doesn't have a close family relative. Now, now we see that 90% of cancers, right? Minimum 90% of cancers are within our power, right? Epigenetically speaking, there are inputs throughout life that influence de- genetic expression and or add to oxidation in the body, right? So yes, this is where diet, this is where infection, this is where inflammation, this is where blood sugar, this is where environmental toxins come into play. This is where stress, trauma, chronic stress, childhood trauma, these are all things. See, cancer is certainly not just one or two things. Very few and far between do people fully reverse their cancer just by going, oh, look, I just changed my diet to a better diet. I love that. And I've seen that happen, actually, cancer completely reversed based on that. But it's few and far between. When I came into residency, I was like, oh, everyone just needs to eat more vegetables. It's what, why wouldn't, you know, the standard American diet, of course, it's going to cause cancer. Then I learned that it was just a huge pie with many different elements. Yes, I would strongly disagree with people who say cancer is random and, you know, it's just a roulette and we don't know, one of us is going to get it. That's the most disempowered statement you can make. The most empowered statement you can make is go, okay, I wasn't taught this. Not many people are talking about it. So I forgive that. I forgive myself, right? Even if, if, if there is a cancer patient who, who has cancer now, you don't look back and go, I'm in a place where I could have done better. It's not on you. It's unfortunately, we as a society in the medical field don't put that information out actively as we put out, you have cancer, come to this hospital and we're going to do the best job. We put more money in that. More money should be in what preventative aspects can we do? How do we balance hormones early on to prevent things like breast cancer, ovarian cancer, right? How do we eat better? What foods are evidence-based foods that reduce oxidation in the body to prevent cancer, right? What role does blood sugar play? So many Americans are pre-diabetic and diabetic. Actually, it's going to be about half at some point in the next 20 years. That's crazy, right? So how do we optimize the soil? And these are all the aspects that I, that I mentioned are soil. What about stress in America? You know, it's funny, you go to Europe and you're like, wow, they, they just stress so much less than us. You know, it's, it's pretty wild. They just take them times to themselves and they really value dinners with family and community. Stress is the main biological agent in our whole body that will age us biologically more than anything. Chronic stress about 9.5 years. What does that do for the whole body? You see what I'm saying? Like this is aspects to the soil. Unfortunately, Americans, and most people don't like to hear this because we don't want to do the work. We, we'd like to be exactly where we are. And then once an issue comes, give me medicine, give me medication to suppress it, feel better, get it out of here, and then continue on the path that we were. Unfortunately, it takes work. It takes interventions. It takes lifestyle. It takes prioritizing your health, which is something that a lot of us aren't ready for. But I'm not here saying You can fully prevent cancer by doing all these things. What I can say is you will be, I guarantee, in the best place possible to prevent it, even if your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister had cancer.